Mr. Postmouse's rounds. It's Monday and Mr. Postmouse is starting his rounds. He carefully loads up his little wagon and sets off. He makes his first delivery to Mr. Bear, who has been waiting for a letter from his Aunt Ursula. Next, Mr. Postmouse delivers a large parcel to the rabbit family. Phew! Nothing for Mr. Snake today, he thinks with relief. At the birds, Mr. Postmouse climbs up, up, up into the trees. Luckily, he isn't afraid of heights. It's a delivery of nuts for Mr. Squirrel, as usual. Then it's time for lunch. Mr. Postmouse stops at his friend, Mr. Dragon's, for some barbecue. Mrs. Mole's package arrives safe and sound. Thank you, Mr. Postmouse. And it's a sweet treat for the ants. Down the lane, Mrs. Turtle unwraps two pairs of zippy roller skates for her mobile home. The Crocs house is just next door. It's so very humid. Mr. Postmouse lets nothing stand in the way of his deliveries. Gurgle, gurgle. Hello, Mrs. Octopus. Oh, look, it's a game of hide and seek in the coral. Ah, on dry land at last. A little note for Mrs. Fly. And next, it's Mr. Wolf's turn. Shh, Mr. Postmouse tiptoes quietly around the Bat Sister's house. At the penguin's place, it's winter all year long. Brr! Mr. Yeti receives delicious tarts from his cousin, Yolanda. Bon appetit! Then Mr. Postmouse heads back down to the valley. Whee! See you next time, mountain goats! Just a few more deliveries to make. This one is a bit smelly. And this one is a bit worrying. Now there's only one parcel left. Who is it for? Surprise! It's for Mr. Postmouse's son, Milo. Happy birthday, my little mouse.